Hey you guys, welcome back to Alleyways, or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so, so much for taking the time to watch this video. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you know when I have new content and also so I can include you in my subscriber shout out. If you want a shout out really bad, just let me know in the comments down below. For today's video, obviously, <laughs> I'm feeling a little lazy, a little relaxed. I wanted just to kind of hang out and rank our top five favorite live action Disney films. Now I'm gonna do mine. We all have our own opinions and that's a wonderful thing. I wanna hear your top five favorite or however many you know, favorite. Last time I did Pixar, some people ranked all the Pixar films and I loved seeing those lists. But I'm gonna be ranking my top five. Let me know your top five in the comment section down below. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get started. Coming in at number five, and I know some of you guys might get me on the technicality. It technically isn't all live action, but Mary Poppins. It is such a Disney classic. And I really love that it is live action and hand-drawn animation hybrid. And that's one of the reasons why it is on my list because that was so innovative at the time. Something that was so unique and original and had never been done and was done so well. I've watched some of the documentaries about how it was made, which made me appreciate it even more. And so not only do I love that it was really innovative, I also love the heart of the story. It's all about family. You guys know how important that is to me. And it has just such a sweet and important message. And you have fun getting that message delivered to you because the characters are all wonderful. Of course, I love Julie Andrews. She's wonderful in every film, but especially her Disney performances are just really, really great. Um, Dick Van Dyke, of course, is wonderful. And then the music is so great. The Sherman Brothers are just on a whole nother level. And the choreography in this film is very impressive. I love everything about this movie. The message, the costumes, the setting, the music, the choreography, everything is all there together. And I really love this time period for Disney. It really is classic Disney, Disney at its best. You know this project was really special to Walt and I think it's just such, such a wonderful film. That's why it's number five for me. That brings us to number four, and that is going to be Saving Mr. Banks. Now, the reason that I put this ahead of Mary Poppins is because it actually gave me a greater appreciation for the film, and I think that that's really, really hard to do. A lot of times you'll watch a documentary or a film about the making of a film, and it makes you view the film differently. But for me, it made the viewing experience of Mary Poppins so much better, and so I think that really speaks to you know, the talent of these filmmakers, the story, and how well it was executed. Of course, we have a dynamite cast. The performances were just all across the board incredible. Um, I really think this film is special too because it's the only time in our Disney catalog that we actually have Walt. And Tom Hanks as Walt was such a perfect fit. It was a performance for the ages. Um, and I really love how they told the story here, cutting back and forth um, between, you know, the author's childhood and present day and seeing how her character progresses through this, you know, really painful process for her of letting go of this extremely personal story that had such deep meaning um, and family ties for her and just kind of releasing that for us bit by bit made the ending that much more powerful and I definitely cried in this film. Cried like a baby. I loved seeing Disneyland in the film. That was really special, seeing Walt in Disneyland. I thought that all the costumes and the art direction and the hair and makeup were so well done. I loved even seeing the cars in the time period, um, the Beverly Hills Hotel. Everything was just so, so special, even right down to the stuffed animals that the author received in her room were true to that time period. And that just takes so much work and research, and I loved seeing that. Uh, and really, the performances of this cast were incredible. There was moments that made you laugh and moments that made you cry. Just, it brought you a whole range of emotions, and when a film can do that, I think it's truly wonderful. So, Saving Mr. Banks is number four for me. Coming in at number three for me is Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. I love this movie. It's the first in the installment, and in my opinion, it's the best in the installment. I think they really got it right with this film, and it has a little bit of everything. 
everything. It has action, it has romance, it has drama, um, and it was all so well executed. I love films that take you to a different place in a different time. I am a history nerd. I loved reading about pirates and watching pirate documentaries growing up, and I really always love the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in Disney. It is one of my absolute favorites, and when I heard that they were going to kind of adapt that concept into a film, I was so excited. And of course now Captain Jack Sparrow uh, as played by Johnny Depp is an iconic Disney performance and I also love the score. I know that Hans Zimmer hired somebody else to do the score. I'm not quite clear who composed it but they did an absolutely incredible job. That music is so wonderful and now I have a lot of positive memories associated with that uh, soundtrack because on board Disney Cruise Line on Pirate Night they play that soundtrack at the pirate party during fireworks at sea and so um, that kind of makes that extra special for me but I do I love everything about this film the costumes uh, a great cast great set and uh, just great acting great story all around and it's one that I can come back to you again and again number two for me is The Parent Trap. Now I'm speaking about the version from the 90s with Lindsay Lohan, Dennis Quaid, and Natasha Richardson, but I do need to revisit the original because I haven't watched it since I was young and it'd be really fun to compare the two. Let me know which one you prefer in the comments down below, but for me the one in the 90s it came out when I was Lindsay Lohan's age in the film and it just looked like she was having the best time going to summer camp, playing pranks, switching places and going to London and California and that just you know for me at the time was so cool and even revisiting it now this cast is incredible um Natasha Richardson is so beautiful and so elegant Dennis Quaid is like so handsome and such a classic kind of dad Lindsay Lohan was adorable and so sweet and precious and really did a great job for an actor of her age giving each of these characters their kind of distinct flavor and everything about this film is just so sweet and precious. I know I mentioned it before, anything with family at the heart of it gets me and this is such a fun unique story and concept, the one that you're not going to get ever again um, unless they do another remake, reboot sometime in the future which they very well could but this is a great story and I love the setting. I know I keep talking about that but Maybe it's because I love travel. I love films that take you to different beautiful places. And here in Northern California and London, oh, the scenery was absolutely gorgeous. And even the costuming in this film, revisiting it as a teenager, especially with kind of 90s fashion, having such a renaissance now, there's so many outfits that are so adorable. I remember wanting all of the outfits as a kid and now that I've rewatched it as an adult I'm like these outfits are still so cute. Um, but everything about it is just so sweet and I cry still every time I watch it. If you haven't seen it by now I'm sorry I'm about to spoil it but you've had plenty of time. I cry every time Hallie and her dad show up in London. It's just oh so good. Great soundtrack, great cast, beautiful settings. There's nothing wrong with this movie. It's it's a perfect little movie. So that's why it's number two for me. And coming in at number one is the 2015 live action Cinderella. I know this isn't going to come as a surprise to you guys. I did an entire review of this film on my channel which you can find here. Please make sure to watch it because I really go into detail about why I love it. But a lot of the reasons that I've already stated for the other films. I love that they had an incredible cast. The costumes were probably the most beautiful I've seen in any film ever. Uh, the art direction, the home that, you know, Cinderella lives in is absolutely stunning. I want to move in there. And the cast, it was perfectly cast. I thought that Lily James was just so beautiful and elegant and kind and gentle and Richard Madden was so princely and handsome and also just very kind. Oh, his father his performance was great, and Kate Blanchett made the entire film. I mean, we all know that she's an incredible actress, but woo, as an evil stepmother, I was, that, that was just something else. It was, it was wonderful. Above all else, the message, and whether you're watching it as a child or as an adult, it's something that you can really take away with you and take to heart. Have courage and be kind. And I love 
how this movie really promoted that idea and really made it something that you want to carry with you every single day. It's such a wonderful film. It's so magical every time. The narration by Helen Bonham Carter, her performance, I mean, everything about it. Now I just want to watch all these movies again and I just might because we do have the time on our hands. But Cinderella for now and I think for a very very long time will be my number one. I totally forgot to mention that I think it's really hard to take a Disney classic film that's so beloved like Cinderella and create a live action version that people are going to like and for them to take an animated film that I absolutely love so much and make it into a live action version that I probably love even more. That really takes talent and they did that and I love this movie. Okay. So those are my top five Disney live action films. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. As always, thank you guys so much for being a part of my channel, for being so positive and loving and really just such great friends. I know that you guys are all busy. For you to be taking time to watch my video and build me up and be positive and be such a good friend really means the world to me. I so appreciate you. I appreciate all you guys. I love you. Let me know what videos you want to see next because I'm doing this for you guys. What would you like to see? Let's keep these videos rolling. I love you all and I'll see you soon. Bye!